In this video, I'll show you how you can connect a custom domain name to your Flood to Flow project. In your Flood to Flow project dashboard, navigate to the settings page. Then first we need to head over to platforms and ensure that the web platform option has been enabled. Now navigate to web deployment and scroll down to the custom domain name section. Enter your base URL here without the HTTP prefix. You will then see there's an option to enable the www version of your domain name, so you can choose to enable or disable www support here. If you disable it, you will only need to add one record to your domain name records, but for this video we can add both and also enable www. Cool, now copy the value for the A record. Once copied, head over to your domain name register where you purchased your domain name and navigate to your domain name settings. Then navigate to the DNS record settings. First check that there are no other A records. If there is, you can delete it. I don't have any on my end, so we can add a new record. The type will be A and the name will be at, and then we can paste the value copied from our Flutter Flow dashboard. For TTL, it's recommended to choose one hour or 60 minutes, depending on the option in your dashboard. Next, we need to add the CNAME record. If you don't have any, you can create a new record and choose CNAME type. I already have one and we'll just amend that one. So we'll copy the CNAME value and I'll just amend mine. So the name will be www. We can paste in the value. And in the TTL, we can also set to one hour. Amazing, now we've updated our domain name DNS records. Now we can go back into Flutterflow and connect our domain by clicking connect. Your DNS records may take some time to update, so do come back after a while. Cool, now our custom domain has successfully been connected to Flutterflow. But before we can see our project live on our domain name, we first need to deploy the website to the domain. In your Flutterflow dashboard in the top right, you'll see a blue button with the lightning icon. Click on the drop down, then select the domain you want to deploy on. You can also have the option to deploy on a temporary flop to flow domain name to test your application. But for now, let's push live to the new custom domain name. Then click the publish button, then give it a moment. Sometimes you may need to refresh the page if it takes a while, but it usually publishes pretty quickly. Cool, now we can go ahead and test it by opening a new tab and typing our custom domain name. And there we have our Flutterflow project deployed on our custom domain name. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, hit that like button and subscribe for more Flutterflow videos.